What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? This is your host, that autistic, optimistic reactor, the Lionheart, leader of the Apex, here to tell you that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then what are you doing? Go and slay that subscribe button to show support to me and the Apex, all right? But we're here because, oh my God, it's February 15, and they decide... Marvel, Disney decides to give us a trailer, not just any trailer, but the X-Men 97. Now, you're probably wondering, what's X-Men 97 if some of you are Gen Z and you don't know so much about X-Men 97? X-Men 97 is a continuation, it's a continuation from the series that had debuted back in 1992, back when I was like two or three years old as a kid watching it on Fox Kids because trust me, X-Men the Animated Series was like one of the top animated series to watch growing up during the 90s on Saturday morning cartoons. And when I'm talking about superheroes, I'm like I'm like saying X-Men the Animated Series, Spider-Man the Animated Series, like, but X-Men the Animated Series and Spider-Man the Animated Series were like the two top of Marvel that they used to produce back on, on Saturday night cartoons. I'm sorry, not Saturday night, Saturday morning cartoons. So, you know, this right now, this is a continuation of X-Men. It ended in 97. Um, this is when Professor Xavier got affected by a device that someone used during a political uh, speech. He used it. it. It messed with Professor Xavier's brainwaves. He started to die. And, you know, we all, I, you know, when I first saw it, I thought that, as a kid, I thought that he died. You know? Like, I thought... This was it. You know, we lost the professor. And luckily, um, Le what, what was her name? What was her name? What was it? Lalandra. Yeah, Lalandra from the Shi'ar Empire, who, you know, Charles has a connected mental soulmate relationship with. Lalandra finally shows up right in the nick of time, use the devices based on the Shi'ar Empire, which is more advanced than what human technology is used on Earth. And because of that, Charles Xavier lived. But he could not stay. He'll live, but he would have to leave under the care of the Shi'ar Empire. And there was no way he would ever come back. That's why his spirit will live among the students that he trained, even through his best friend Magnus, who, a.k.a. Magneto, hopefully, um, well, Eric, to be exact. Um, hopefully, whatever I see in this trailer, I don't know what to expect, but I'm just, I'm literally 34, I'm 34 years old. This show ended, oh man, I think back when I was seven or eight years old. Six, yeah, 1997. So I was either seven or eight when this when this finished. <sighs> Can I, I cannot wait. Let's check it out. Let's check this trailer out. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Watch this series finale. Oh my God, that's exactly what it was in... That's the original way how it ended. My X Men. All right, let's see it. Marvel Animation. Okay, all right. Daily Bugle. Huh. Okay, animation's a little bit different, but Oh, you hear that? Woo! The crew's back. Yeah, Oh, Bishop? Okay. Oh, she's pregnant. The Sentinels. Whoa! That's an awesome combo. To me, my X-Men. Ah! Magneto. What? Whoa, whoa. Hold up. That's nuts. What the what the hell? You whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Can we just look at the team for a minute? 
we it it seems like we have a new new members or a new way how the team is now as compared to what we've seen in the opening let me see we got storm jubilee wolverine cyclops gene and a referee sue pregnant rogue gambit so bit so now bishop's part of the team now i thought he was a future boy not now he's part of the x-men and we got beast and if i rem if this is who i think it is i think that's morph but if that's morph like we've seen we've never seen morph look like that morph has always had this look that we as you saw when they were lined up in the beginning but oh my god like if this is what morph looks like now then it's like it, it kind of makes sense but he looks like the chameleon though from um spider-man but if this is our yo the day that they put the opening out there i'm going lit on this okay i'm gonna be like oh god i cannot wait for this man i cannot wait for this man this this hold up guys this is I feel like a time traveler because I'm going back to the 90s, bro. Just continuing where we just left off. And I cannot wait. Animation's a bit different, but I don't... I'm not doubting. I think it's going to still look amazing. I don't think it's going to look bad. But that combination with, with Gambit's ability infused to his antimantium claws. Like, I never heard of something like that. That's, like, that's creative. And I know it's been uh, almost 30 years... I would say almost 30 years. So to have any of the original voice actors back, they're not going to sound the same. So if any of you guys who grew up with me during the 90s and is like, oh, you know, their voices sound a little bit different. I'm like, well, you know, if they're using the original actors, then can't really complain. But I am excited, guys. And I cannot wait to be part of this journey. Most likely one of our members is probably going to watch it with their kid, which is like, eh, that's, you know, that's good. Kind of wish, you know, this person would team up, would be with us for this. But you know what? It's a good family moment. So I don't, I don't complain about that. But I cannot wait to watch this, guys. And I hope you'll get to join me when that day comes, which is, I think, March. Yeah. So other than that, guys, thank you so much. I got to bid you guys adieu. Goodbye. And good night. Bang. You. 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 Views. I need some other fucking views.